Hello and welcome back. In my previous demo, I showed you how to access a OData service and display its data inside a table. And this demo is going to be a continuation of the previous demo and we are going to look into a few other scenarios. So let's do a quick recap of what we did in our previous demo. So in our controller page, we are defi <coughs> defining a new model, which is going to be a JSON model. And we are going to get the data using a jQuery function, which is $.ajax. And then we are going to set the data inside our O model. Now, the reason that I use $.ajax is because our data is coming inside our value node. So if you look into this data, it is coming inside our value node, uh, but the object that we get from this URL is this entire thing. And we are interested in this data. So that's the reason this model allows me to get the relevant data and then set it inside my O model. And then I can set this model to be global so that I can access it from page one view. But let's say we don't want to use $.ajax function. In that case, you can delete everything from here and pass the URL over here. So internally, it is going to set the data from this URL inside your O model, and then you can make this model global. But now this model contains an object, which is this entire object, basically. But we are interested in this node, which is the value node. So now we can go ahead and inside our view, instead of giving the root, we give value. So this is still going to work. Let's have a quick refresh in the browser and look into the data and that works. But imagine a scenario where you have two different models and you need to get the data from two different models and show it inside your page one dot view. So we are going to use another web service, which is the Ajax Town web service. And we're going to keep this link ready and let's use another model. So we can copy this code paste it over here and replace this URL with our Jackstown URL. So now we have two models and both are set. So this is using O model and this is O model one and we are setting O model inside uh, the core which is going to make it global and the same thing we are doing with this. But in this case, it is just going to overwrite this model. And so our core is going to contain the new object, which is O model one. So we give a key over here and we say this is Northwind model. And this is going to be a Jackstown model. So in this case, we are setting uh, the model with the name Ajaxstown, And here we are setting the model as Northwind. So let's move on to page one. And let's copy this entire script and paste it again so that we can display our Ajax down data. And we are going to paste it over here. We are going to name it as O table one. And this is also going to be O table one, O table one. And this is going to be O table one. And if you look into the Ajax down data, there is there is no other key we need exactly the same data as it's given here so we do not use the value instead we want the data from the root so that is all done and the next thing our column names are first name and, and last name so we are going to change that so instead of contact name it is going to be first name and this is going to be last name. All right. So we are binding this UI element with contact name, which is coming from our model. But now there are two different models. And this is going to get confused on which model to use. So to do that, the first model that we have named it is Northwind. So we copy that data and we, we are going to write Northwind and we are going to reference this model and we want the contact name. Similarly, we are going to reference Northwind again and we are going to get contact title. And this value is going to get bind with our UI element. 
and now we are going to bind north wind with the same value and if you look into the second table here this data is coming from Ajax town so we name that and we copy the same thing and write Ajax town here and this data is coming from Ajax town we are returning O table but we have two different tables so we write var element this is going to be an array and it is going to contain o table and o table 1 and now we are going to return this table return this element which contains both the table so now when we go ahead and refresh this page this data doesn't show up but we are getting the data from the first table now to debug this we can get into the console and refresh this page and we are going to get the error message over here and it says cross origin request blocked well that's because we are not able to access this service because it can get the request only from ajaxtown.com so we are going to change this and we are going to keep a star wildcard so that it gives us access to any domain and now when we go ahead and refresh this page it is going to get me the data from this table and we also have the data over here so <clears throat> that was all about the OData service and how to use it uh, using a JSON model and in the next demo we are going to create a small form and when we submit that form, it is going to add the record inside this table. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments or there is a section that you have not understood, drop me a comment and I'll try to explain that in the next video.